Welcome back to the program. I am once again your host, Joe. Today we're going to continue with more Chrono Trigger. When last we left off, uh, I got a little bit clowned on. Just a little bit. So we're thinking about what our strategy here. Just, just a little bit. Just a bit. Okay. Uh, I want some speed. Um, does anybody here? Does any any of the other guys have sp speed belt? Speed belt. Right, because they're slow. Uh, here, take a scarf for now. Uh, frog, you get the speed belt. All right. This is our winning strategy. So he's doing fire attacks, so I'm giving uh, Frog uh, the ability to abs just absorb fire. That's fine. Time hat, right. Came over here, and there was this full ether. And there was a magic tab, which I will use on Frog this time. Uh, Frog, you are injured. How did that happen? Right, you weren't in the team when I used the shelter. That's what happened. It's fine. There we go. All right, we're all topped up. Let's go up there and fight this guy again. Yeah, when we last left off, I, I had a party wipe. Uh, there's a there's a thing here. This big cage? It is disappearing. And then this big dude comes out. And he just wiped out my party in one round. Just wiped out like half the party. It sucked. Uh, I want you to barrier yourself. I want you to barrier yourself. I want Frog to use uh, heal. Decent. And then I want these two to use Falcon Hit on his hands. And for Frog to just spam heals. This should top everybody back up, at which point Frog can worry about using a barrier on himself. Yeah, I don't have anything for the, the dark the dark plasma attack it's a shadow based spell uh, I don't have anything to absorb shadow so barrier it is for that uh, the fire though I did give frog the fire vest which has a much lower defense but is good for uh, God the fire vest eats fire magic it just it cuts the damage he takes by half so Absolutely ideal for this situation where one of these hands is shooting me with fire magic. We'll spend a round using a barrier on him. And, uh, you yeah, know, why not? We have, we have the technology. Let's use a lapis. Hit him with the water, too. Since we're relatively topped up right now, let's just cast a spell. Hey, the hands are dead. Uh, these three do not have a triple tech. That's fine. They definitely should. I just didn't do a fight with these three. They have everything they need for their... I think they have everything they need for their triple tech. 
I think she just needs Rolo Kick, and it combines with their X Strike to be 3D Kick. So I am at a bit of a disadvantage. Let's Volt Bite, and then Leap Slash. Ah, oh, 1150. That's pretty decent. Commencing Arm Restoration. Oh, you know what? I have Spire now. Let's do Spire. It's really badass. <laughs> he just sticks a sword in his brain. A speed tab. That's pretty good. I, I, I won't say no to that. Here comes the heal again. It'll be fine. We, 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 you know, we have the winning strategy right here. Uh, oh, their, their, their barriers wore off. It's probably fine. It's probably fine that their barriers wore off, you know? I'll just, uh, you know, use Frog to keep everybody's magic or uh, uh, health topped up. It's fine. Uh, you know what? Let's, let's Rock Throw. What am I thinking with Rock Throw? That's not gonna work. He's huge! She can't grab his head. I just want to see what my best attacks do. Uh, okay, that's like... 845. It's 442. Uh, you know what? I think... I think the Volt Bite is the way to go. It's pretty decent. Volt Bite. And you know what? Let's try Water too. Um, I should probably be conserving some magic for if he brings his stupid arms back to life again. But, I'm not. Making bad decisions. We're... <laughs> we're... Dear God. 281. Okay, that's trash. All right, arms come back. I target them for destruction again. Let's just lay into them with a, a you know AO, AOE t attacks like right off the bat. I haven't taken any damage from their stupid spells yet, so I'll get ahead of the game with a water two on top. Ah, that worked. Okay. Hey, and we win! That went so much smoother this time. I owe it all to using a frog instead of a robot. They don't know what they need for the triple tech. Okay, I guess the kick that Isla needs is literally triple kick. Melchior? You don't know who that is. You've never met him before. Indeed, I am Melchior. Have we met before? More importantly, can you tell me anything about the Ocean Palace? Ah, see. The Queen has degenerated to that degree. The more energy the Mammon Machine absorbs, the further the Queen degenerates. Her spirit has been stolen by the infamous immortal Lavos. Oh, we must flee. The seal has been broken. The mountain will collapse. That was a load-bearing boss. With it dead, the mountain's gonna... 
Elder, the mountain of woe is about to crumble. Mommy, the mountain's gonna fall. I'm free! Oh no! Oh, so much for Bullwinkle's upsidasium mine. That reference is like 80 years old. Nobody's gonna get that. <laughs> Lavo sleeps deep underground while consuming the energy of this planet. If the mamma machine is brought closer to him, he may awaken. We must hurry before it's too late. I don't remember what accent I gave him before. Elder Shala's here. What? Shala's here. No, I think I definitely gave Melkir the, uh... One of the more generic old man voices. Miss Shala, why have you come to such a miserable place? Stop degrading yourselves. We enlightened ones were once the same as you. The only difference is that we are under Lavos' control. What a filthy hovel. Melkir, after the Mountain of Woe fell, I thought I would find you here. Is it safe for you to leave the palace? That no longer matters. The Ocean Palace is now operational. Then all is lost. But without me, the Mammon Machine won't work. I have turned my back on that evil device. I've kept the Skyway open. Hurry, you must stop my mother. Why don't we keep it right there? Dalton! Your presence is required elsewhere. Dalton, you leave her alone. I'm all over the place with these voices. Ugh, the geezer speaks. Silence, old man. Ugh. You'll come to the Ocean Palace with me. Do anything funny, and Shala's dust. Got it. Shala! The Queen's children all seem to have a problem with authority, don't they? <laughs> Stay back. The life of this woman means nothing to me. Shall we get going, Shala, dear? Your mother awaits. You know what? I bet that's a total lie on his part. The life of this woman means nothing to me? She's the one who you're sent to retrieve. She's the one who does the stuff at the Mammon Machine. Yes, she. you need her. Melchior. I'm alright. But we must save Shala or else. Impossible. Even though it's coming from you, Melchior. If the Queen's allowed to fulfill a scheme, all life as we know it is doomed. No. You're willing to challenge the Queen? Yes. You've done so much for us. I don't even know your names. Gramps, use Redstone. Help Chrono. Now Isla, help you. What are you talking about? Chrono, let us be on our way. Wait, take this with you. It's made from the same red stone as the Mammon machine. With it, you can destroy the machine. Got one ruby knife. What do you have to say, other old man? Shaw is being abducted, but without sorcery we can't do a thing. And not with that attitude. Uh, one of these was a shop, right? Wasn't you. You're like here with a kid. Uh, was this it or was this the inn? This is the inn. This is the Beast Warren? You know what? We're saving. Saving what lies beyond. New chapter name. It's likely that Dalton came here using the Skyway that Shala created. Use the Skyway to chase Dalton. And please hurry for Shala's sake. Hey, Shala Shala. Okay. Alright. 
One of these has got to be the top one here. It's right, it's got to be this one. Yeah. Want to buy something? I do. Give me... Give me this arm, I guess. That's half my money. I can only afford one! Alright, we buy one, I guess. Uh, let's, let's, uh, hmm. Well, the Ruby Fest is, uh, okay. Oh, Mr. Rope's better than that. And the Mezzo Mail is better than the Ruby Vest, which was on Robo for some reason. Oops. I could have loaded out two people with fire resistance. Oh wait, I got a I got a Robo's hand. Place the Doomfinger with the Megaton Arm. Why does weapons have such baller names, even though they're just, like, a robot arm? Here's a suit made of gold! And a hat made of gold, and he doesn't think that any of them are worth all that much. Okay, let's also pick up, uh... Let's pick up another flash mail, sure. Okay. I don't have enough for a flash blade. You know what, it wouldn't be that big of an upgrade anyway. It's fine, I don't need that flash blade. Alright, with the Skyway open, I can actually go back up to Zeal and, uh, fuck them up up there. Is this portal still closed off? The gate's back! I can fill out my gate room again! Sweet! Let's save. And, uh, you know what? Let's have a look at our, our text. What are we learning here? I know what you're learning. Dino Tail, 700 and something, uh, 500 something, 447, 559, 403. Okay. I kind of want to bust out the main three again, because I know that now that they've all got their second level spells, um, I should be able to do some ridiculous shit. I don't have any spare helmets to put on people. That's fine. Uh, old man, what do you have to say? Oh, interesting. So, oh, you've already... Alright, I know this one. I know that story already. Earthbound Island, 12-something BC. In fact, with the portal open, uh, I'm going to safely deposit my time machine back in the end of time. Um, we'll see what that does for me. If this breaks certain story things like I think it might, then I will be chuckling. I should, in theory now, step outside the cave to not have my time machine out there, right? Yeah. Alright. Feels like I shouldn't be able to do that. Here we are.
All right, with the skyway open, we can go through the thing. Gotta go up. I still don't understand why they couldn't just build build an actual bridge. You know what? Before, I even had the thought, why don't they just beam sideways from one island to the next? You don't even need that. Build a normal-ass bridge. You know, a rope bridge, maybe, if you need something with the flex, that'll flex with the islands of zeal as they move. There's, there's no need for that. It's just, it's just ostentatious at that point. Wait a minute. I'll look at these guys. So, like, I don't even know. I they, they have a strange design. I can never tell if they've got, like, just a mouth guard that covers up the lower portion of their face, and then the upper part of their face is purple, or if they're wearing, like, a, like a, like a Jason-style hockey mask, and they're just looking down as they dance. I've always been confused by that. I think they're looking down. I think they have a hockey mask on. Saving. This is the Queen's Palace, the center, the big center of the universe, right? How cruel! You won't scratch my back. You never scratched my back, motherfucker. Oh. There's a save point inside. I saved outside, it's fine. The Ocean Palace is complete. Zeal will rule forever. Phooey. Why is the Prophet allowed inside while I'm stuck on guard duty? Ha, there you are. I let the Prophet go knowing he'd mess up sooner or later. I have no use for you anymore. Your history. Oh. Oh. I realized something just now. The whole reason I switched back to these ones is because uh, they learned a bunch. Of, they learned all their second level spells. But they never got a chance to fight together in order to actually like learn their triple tech. So, oops. What am I supposed to do here? I honestly can't tell. Well, I'm just gonna hit him with fire sword. Maybe the dual tech nature of it will confuse him, and he will aim in between the two of them with his iron ball. Nope. Right for Chrono. But you know what? That's fine, actually. Stop that. We'll use Fire Sword again. It does pretty good damage. Yeah, in theory, like, their triple tech is learned from having, uh, Lightning 2, Fire 2, and Ice 2. So they should have it, but I... They don't know they have it yet, because they haven't worked together since they learned it. Alright, we beat him! 30 tech points! 2500 gold! Learn dual tech antipode 2! Learn dual tech fire sword! Ice Sword. What? Delta Force. Should have already had Fire Sword and Ice Sword. N no, I'm going to be immortal. I can't be beaten now. I'm giving him the Randy Savage voice.
All right, well. I'll make use of this save point. I somehow stepped off of the save point. There we go. Okay, shelter's available. Get my health and my magic back. Lavos beckons. Uh, Lavos beckons, but uh, so too does the next episode. That's a good place to leave off for now. Thank you for tuning in. I have once again been your host, Joe, and I will see you next time with more Chrono Trigger.